So if I told you that you could replace all of these remotes with one simple device, would you believe me? Let me show you how. Alright guys, so as I mentioned just now, if you have two to three remotes in your living room or in your bedroom, you can replace all of those with this device right here, the smart Wi-Fi infrared controller. If you haven't seen my previous video, I go a bit more in depth about what the actual device can do, some of the things you would have to keep in mind if you were to purchase it. It's all in that video, so if you haven't checked it out, please do. But today, what I really want to do is go through the setup with you guys, show you how simple it is to set up, and just demonstrate a few of the features so that you can see how it works. So the first thing you'd want to do is download the app. You just go into your Google Play Store or your App Store and search for the app. It's called Smart Life. There's also another version called the Tuya app. They both do the exact same thing. Once the app is finished downloading, uh, you just want to open it and it's going to ask you to sign up or log in. You can then want to sign up if you don't have an account already. Once you've signed up and logged in, you're then going to be greeted by some pop-ups asking you to allow access to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Those are just some services that are needed, so you'd click OK. So after that, what you'd want to do is add the smart IR controller. So you would hit add a device. It's then going to pull up a list of devices that you can add manually. The simplest way I've found to do it is to do an auto scan so it can automatically pick up the controller. If it isn't automatically set by your phone, you may need to add your Wi-Fi credentials. It's going to continue to scan and in a few moments you should see the smart IR controller pop up. You just then want to click next and afterwards you can name it whatever you like. So if you have it in your living room, you can rename it living room controller, for example. So the next thing you want to do is add the devices that you want to control. As you can see here, I already have a few devices set up. You just click the button, add a remote at the bottom, and then you'll see that there's a whole lot of devices that you can add from TVs to air conditioners, um, fans, DVD players, lights, cameras. There's a whole lot that you can do. But what we're gonna do today is let's add a fan. So we'll click on fan. And you'll see that it then pulls up a whole list of brands of fans. No pun intended. I'm gonna search for Lasco because that's the fan that I have. And then it's going to pull up an interface. It's asking you to please ensure that at least three buttons work. So what you would then do is just test out the buttons. If I press the power button, if it controls it, my fan should turn off or on. If it doesn't, there's a button at the bottom that says next one. So you just click on that and it will pull up a new set of codes. And then you test the buttons again. Once you find a set of codes that work, you would click select this one. And as quick as that, I've added my fan to my smart controller. So if you're like me and you want to make this even simpler, you can use the Google app or Amazon's Alexa to issue voice commands. I personally use Amazon Alexa so once you've downloaded the app and you've logged in, you then want to go to more and then skills and games. So from there, you're going to search for the Tuya or Smart Life skill so that you can link your smart app to your Amazon account. This is what it looks like. It says Tuya Smart. So you then just click enable to use. It's now going to ask permissions to link your accounts. So you would just click agree and link. And then it says your Tua Smart account has been successfully linked. Now, once that's done, it's going to ask you to discover devices. 
it's gonna scan the network for uh, about 45 seconds I'll speed that up to save some time from here you'd see that it picks up the device that we just added the living room fan it says that it's ready for use it would automatically set it up so you would just click done and now that it's been set up let's give it a test so my fan is now on let's try the voice command Alexa turn off living room fan And as you can see, it turns off the fan. Alexa, turn on living room fan. Okay. And the fan just started up. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can be updated on all the content that I have coming up. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and maybe tell me some of the devices that you'd want to control with this thing. Uh, just leave that in the comments. But until next time guys, peace.